Hello everyone, welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video will show you how to connect the H12 Pro controller and the A8 camera. We'll break down the process into three main questions. What materials are needed? How do you connect them? How do you display the camera feed on the remote controller? Let's dive into today's topic with these questions in mind. What materials are needed? For this video, you'll need the following materials. H12 Pro receiver. A8 camera. Tattoo 5300 mAh 3S LiPo battery XT60. N7 flight controller. Power module. Custom-made video transmission cable. Custom-made SBUS Plus Telem 1 cable. A 8 power cable. H12 Pro. With all these materials prepared, let's move on to the next question. How do you connect them? This module mainly focuses on these three cables. Video transmission cable. This custom-made cable has two connectors, GH 1.259 pin and DuPont 2.54 mm 4 pin. Connect the GH 1.259 pin connector to the A8's video transmission port. Then connect the DuPont 2.54 mm 4 pin connector to the H12 Pro's network port. The H12 Pro has two network ports, you can use either one. This step connects the A8's video transmission port to the H12 Pro's network port. SBUS plus Telem 1 cable. This custom-made cable has three connectors, DuPont 2.54mm 6 pin, DuPont 2.54mm 3 pin, and GH 1.256 pin. First, Connect the DuPont 2.54mm 6-pin connector to the data transmission port. Then connect the GH 1.256-pin connector to the N7's Telem 1 port. Finally, Connect the DuPont 2.54mm 3-pin connector to the RC port. Power Connections Connect the power to the A8. Then, connect the power to the N7. Finally, connect the power to the module. That's the entire wiring process. Once the wiring is complete, we need to display the camera feed on the remote controller. How do you display the camera feed on the remote controller? It can be divided into three parts to show. Using FPV software. Turn on the remote controller and open the FPV software. Check if the video feed and controls are working correctly. After confirming, click the top right corner of the screen. In the new window, go to Settings and find Camera IP. Locate the A8's RTSP stream labeled A and copy it. Using QGC, Open QGC. Click the top left corner of the screen and in the new window, click Application Settings. Scroll down in general to find Video Settings. In the RTSP URL field under Video Settings, paste the A8's RTSP stream URL. This will display the camera feed on the remote controller. Using SkyDraw's GQC. Open SkyDraw's GQC. Click the top left corner of the screen and find General Settings in the left sidebar. Then click Other. Click User Interface. Select Video Preferences, and in the left or right window, 
paste the RTSP address copied from FPV. This will display the A8's feed on the ground station. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. To learn more about our products, please follow us.